I'd done a fair amount of research about which camps and which accusations. And actually what surprised me when I, when I went there was how ordinary the women were. They were like you and me, they were really ordinary, just an older version. So I didn't consider them as freaks, I just thought them as kind of, not victims, but maybe the best ways to say is victims of just a, a system that works against them, I guess. When I approached them to have pictures, they got quite annoyed about it and said, everyone takes pictures of us and they leave. So I, I had this image in my idea that people come from Europe, they take pictures of them and then they go. And so, and I thought, I'm probably the, the, one of those for sure. And so it's kind of a judgment on myself about how we perceive these women, how we also exploit them for our own sort of guilt. And so that was one of the ideas that came from this idea of yeah, changing perspectives. The, the, the work comes from the casting. This is what I do, is, is the casting, and I go through lots and lots of people to get to the girl. I cast nearly a thousand kids. And uh, for the women, we went through various networks, and some women I workshopped. It was different things to get these women. The final, they ended up being 32 women. And so once I, once I do that, that, that hard work, I am quite hands off. I let them pretty much, I, I follow them, so they have to dictate how they want to be in a space. Sometimes, unless we're really in a rush, then I sit them down and say, just do, we have to shoot, just sit there. But usually I, I, they dictate how, how, how we capture them, really. What I really wanted was something really, really simple like almost like a, f a fairy tale, like a book, like you could illustrate it, for different reasons, because I wanted the appearance of a fairy tale. I want the film is based on this idea of fairy tale language, uh, at least Zambian fairy tale language. And also, um, I wanted it that if people in Zambia watched, you don't have to, um, you don't have to be particularly educated or anything to understand what's happening. I didn't want to make the images complex or abstract. So this is what I, I, I wanted to reach out to as many people as I could, at least in, in Zambia. And so that's how I approached it. And, and yeah, someone else said that the frame, that it's quite beautiful. I didn't realize it until I looked at it, so it was quite pretty. Um, I didn't think of this, because when we were, what, what we wanted, the look was to have, um, it was meant to go from green, which is, and then it goes dry and dry throughout the, the film to, to kind of, um, express what she feels because she's quite stoic the the girl which i wanted she's expressionless a lot so i wanted what she sort of feels illustrated in what's happening behind her so that's how we picked you know how to frame and what where and the landscapes and and all this stuff and at the end it gets dry and dry and then i think the last bit is a quarry um and it's just to illustrate how much she's getting exploited i guess